Hello single Libras and welcome to your 2023 Romance Angels Love Predictions. We are going to look at all the love energies that are coming in around single Libras in 2023. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to pop in a little love bonus message from Kiri for all single Libras. So if you resonate with that, be sure to check out her channel as I will leave a link for that. All right, single Libras, let's get in. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Love, romance, 2023, single Libra. All right, so we have a soulmate. Release your ex. It's safe for you to love. And honeymoon, ooh, Libra. Okay, so for a lot of the signs, there's kind of been this theme and look at what's next retreat. Yeah, I knew it. there's a vacation that's very significant for you. Um, <clears throat> there's this theme in 2023 where many signs are letting somebody of the past go because there's somebody beautiful and new coming in. Okay, so what I see for my single Libras is there's somebody that is really heavy on your heart and it could be whether you miss them you want them back or you just have like a lot of anger and unresolved frustration about it okay this you could still want them or you could not want them it's just you all are walking different paths and so there's some sort of residual energy inside of you from a significant relationship somebody that you were in a uh, committed partnership with okay this isn't like a missed connection missed opportunity no this is somebody that meant something to you deeply significantly you guys created memories with each other okay and you've been carrying this energy inside of you okay but Libra there's going to be a cleansing because you've got this soulmate coming in that's safe for you to love okay and some of you may meet this person while you are out on a vacation or like camping you know something far away from home and some of you you're going to meet this person and in 2023 you guys are going to go on this really magical vacation with each other okay so this vacation is very significant for my single libras whether this is where you meet the person or you and this new person are going off on this like i almost feel like dream trip like we got venice right there venice italy maybe some of you it's the tropics that you're looking for or maybe it feels like a dream trip because of just how much you guys are falling in love but this is what is with you as you are exiting 2022 coming into 2023 and you know libra it could also be that you've been working on really closing the door to the past um, towards the end of 2022 okay um, but it's like you are releasing you are choosing to finally let this go like you are forgiving you are healing or you are coming in to the belief like I you know why why did I want to get back with that person like I kind of feel the last couple months of 2022 you are experiencing a lot of disillusionment of past relationships um, you know different people that maybe you thought were the one that got away or I wish this wouldn't have ended or you were really beating yourself up like I wish I would have been better at this you're, you're having a whole change of heart and mind Libra and you're seeing things for what they really were somebody that you once saw as you know this beautiful amazing thing now you're kind of like oh Wow, look at that. Why didn't I notice that? Or what was I thinking? Um, a lot of anger, frustration, hurt. You're healing your heart. You're letting it go. I feel this is all very natural, Libra, because you're coming into a soulmate union in 2023. Two 
Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Empress. Oh, Libra. Yes. The Star. Oh, my goodness. And Five of Pentacles. <gasps> okay. Look at what's on the bottom. We got the Emperor in the Tower. And you got your Empress right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of getting a message for some Libras like you've just been kind of playing the field because again this this energy of this past person was very present within you okay and you're just kind of playing the field or whatever you know and um, there may be some people you've met or maybe a specific person you've met but you haven't given it much um, attention or thought because you've been focused somewhere else thinking about somebody else okay or this could be a brand new energy that's coming in in 2023, okay? I kind of feel pulled both ways, like, because I, I feel you, like, um, being open to dating, you know, talking to people, things like that. So you've, you've met some potential partners, but again, you're just too focused on somebody or there's somebody else that's been just too much in your heart to really open up to anything that's come your way, okay? Um, so you may know this person, but you guys haven't gone very deep if you do just because of that, or this person is going to be brand new to you in 2023. Either way, whether you kind of already know them a little bit or they're brand new, it's going to be like a brand new experience to you, like discovering this person for the first time, if it's somebody you kind of already know, because this energy is going to be gone from you. Okay, it's I feel a big weight lifting off of you finally feeling good about something that didn't work out. Okay, and this person that is coming in, oh my goodness, Libra, this is your soulmate coming through as the Empress and the Emperor. This new person, or I should the way I should phrase this is. This new person you're opening your heart to, okay? Because I just feel um, you're getting new eyes. And the way that you look at the past is going to be different. Therefore, the way that you look at the options that are currently around you are going to be different. Or the way you open your eyes is opening you up to let this soulmate in. To allow the meeting for the first time. But yeah, Libra, it's it's time to align to your soulmate in 2023, okay? And about this person in general, this is somebody who really has it together, okay? Um, with the Empress and the Star, this is your ideal partner. This is somebody that you would want to be with, okay? Um, they are financially good. And the varying of that could be different. So when I say financially good, this is somebody that can handle their business, okay? They don't struggle paycheck to paycheck, all right? And some of them could have, you know, a lot of abundance. But what I'm getting is a very stable energy. Like this person has established themselves in life. They have a career. Um, they're responsible, they have enough to have some luxury in their life, okay? Also, this person is going to be like a light in your life, especially coming in with the star. Um, coming in with the star, this could be somebody who has some sort of a talent and ability, okay, that, that's special, that's unique, um, that maybe they're known for, all right? So they might sing or play an instrument, or maybe even like a public figure of some kind, like um, because the star represents some sort of notoriety, status, popularity, really standing out. Okay, so there's something about this person, who they are or what they do that you see them as having status and power. Okay, but you are equal to this. They are going to see you in the same light as, as as a good fit for them 
All right, and here's the thing. There's like a shocking revelation here, Libra, with the Emperor and the Tower. And um, with this Five of Pentacles, that's why I was leaning towards um, this may be somebody that you know already and you've kind of been uh, not really entertaining it. But through this change of heart, okay, you're going to be shocked at how you see um, somebody now. Also, Libra, this could go th the other way around where you have... Uh, really been interested in somebody, but they've been dealing with this broken heart, um, exes, etc. And towards the end of 2022, they're really closing the door on that past. And they're going to have this revelation and they're going to see you as that match for them. And it's very shocking. It's unexpected. All right. Um, also, I'm getting where, you know, this could be somebody that's been around you and it's like Cupid just hits you both with an arrow and it's like, whoa, how did I never feel this connection or how did I never notice you like this before? Okay. And then lastly, some of you, this will be an entirely brand new person that's coming into your reality and don't feel insecure at all, Libra, with that Five of Pentacles, don't feel insecure. This person sees you as an ideal partner for them, as you see them as an ideal partner for you. Yeah, look at this just fell as I was saying that, Eight of Wands and Nine of Cups. This is your soulmate. Either you feel a little intimidated by them or they feel a little intimidated by you or maybe a bit of both. But it's like the uh, attraction, the connection is undeniable. And I'm telling you, some Libras, it's like you finally are able to open your heart to love again. Or somebody that you've been very interested in that you know, has kind of kept you at bay. It's like they're finally over some things and they're now seeing you. You know, and this dream trip, right? I feel like this person's well to do. They could be taking you on a dream trip in 2023, Libra. of wands nine of cups nine of swords two of swords yeah see it's the same story coming out and there it is the magician there's been a blockage of love okay and that again doesn't have to mean that you're not talking to people that you're not dating but your heart has been closed off or somebody that you have been very interested in their heart has been closed off because of this past, this ex energy, okay? But whether it's in you or that person, it's just naturally healing. You're moving beyond it. And you know what, Libras? You guys start your eclipse season in 2023. I believe your first eclipse is in October, okay? So that would make sense. You are, in 2023, closing a door on a big cycle, a big life cycle that has been a part of you for the last 10 to 11 years, okay? And you're stepping on the path for a new cycle of your soul. And this new cycle of your soul that comes with the eclipse energies is a soulmate. You are coming into union with your soulmate. And this is a relationship that's going to last 10 years or longer, okay? But, um, there was a closing of the heart space, whether in you or somebody else. And now that's going away. And I do, again, there's something about feeling intimidated around this person. Like maybe their status um, or they just are, they just have it together. Like you just see them like, wow, you're the whole package. You really want me. You, you want me because there is a shock factor here. Like almost be, and like a wish come true. Okay, a wish come true. And like I said, it's like somebody's eyes finally open. 
with the Six of Wands, recognition, success, victory. So, Libra, this is like a dream love for you. And it's going to, I feel, intimidate you a little bit. But this person, from what I see, sees you as their equal, coming through as the Emperor and the Empress. And we don't have any other card cards that showed up, okay? And so somebody's heart had to open, whether it's yours or somebody around you, okay? Somebody's heart had to open for this love to finally be seen or confessed, or your heart had to open to allow yourself to meet this soulmate in 2023. But this is like the emperor and the empress. That's that power couple energy and dynamic going on. Libra, oh my gosh. Okay, I was going to, let's pull a few more tarot. Let's see what else Spirit would like to add. Yeah, it's like the theme of your reading is somebody had to heal their broken heart first. Five of Cups, see, there it is. Somebody had to heal their broken heart in order to come into, I have all I wish for in my relationships. And look, that's Ace of Swords on Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Oh, Libra, this is beautiful. Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So here it is. You are air energy. This Knight of Swords represents air energy. So what I feel, and, and see there's a lot of worry and fear through the Nine of Swords about this Empress. And, you know, I'll pull the Emperor up here because some of you are feminines, some of you are masculines, you know, you um, are all looking for something different here. So with this person, there is like a lot of fear in you of I just, I, the shock, like, I don't know, Libra, you are, for some reason, you are surprised that this person wants you. I don't know. It's crazy, but I mean, because we're all, you know, divine beings and money, power and status is only of the material world. You know, it's, this is a meeting of the heart and the soul. And that's why this person wants you, and that's why you want them. Okay, this is a true connection. This is a soulmate. I mean, first card out. But you you have this fear, okay? Now, um, a knight up against an emperor or an empress, this could mean that they're, you either feel this person has a lot more um, knowledge, world experience, etc., or there could be like an age gap between you guys, or perhaps for some Libras, this is in your workplace and this is like a superior to you, okay? Um, but you have a lot of fear, but this person sees you as their equal, regardless of how you see yourself. They see you as their equal. So know that, have no fear, have, do not feel intimidated at all. Feel confident, feel proud. They see you. They see you more than you see yourself. All right, so. Um, but yes, this is something that is going to build. And this Ten of Cups, 10 years or longer. All right, and this relationship feels like a dream come true. For you as well as for them. And you got the magician. It's like anything that you fear is a problem or an obstacle. The connection, like you guys will just overcome it. 
and there may be some fear in them as well you know like I get that you guys mirror each other so as much as you look at them and put them on a pedestal they look at you the same way and that's beautiful that you both see each other in that light Right, release, inspiration, reunion, soulmate, and attraction. Yeah, see, some of you, I know that you already kind of know this person. Okay, I do. But it's like this X factor was in the way of your connection, if you already know them. Okay, whether inside this person or inside of you. Now, again, some of you, this is a brand new person you're going to be meeting, but I did feel that energy, so I'm glad that uh, Spirit confirmed that. So, yeah, first card out, we got to release the X. Somebody's heart has to heal, has to be free. It's time to let go of the past relationship so you can welcome your true love. And we've already got that message in, through this entire reading, whether it's your heart that needs um, to be healed or, again, somebody around you that you've been interested in but it's happening finally thank goodness and see in inspiration you and this person really inspire each other I'm telling you you guys just see each other in the best possible light and you both want to be a better person because of the other now um, this reunion this is specifically for those of you where You've been um, trying to pursue somebody and you know like they've been hung up, okay? Or you, there is people around you really trying to give you attention, but you've been hung up. There is going to be this unexpected like bolt of lightning of knowledge, of knowing, of illumination. And the past is gone and now I have these eyes to see you, okay? Whether that's you, Libra, or this person that you've been wanting to pursue that's been hung up. It's going to, that the past is leaving and it's like we're going to come in to union because why? You guys are soulmates and your energy pulls yourselves to each other. Even if this is a new person that you have not met yet, Libra, your energy is going to pull you guys together because you guys have a soul contract. You're soulmates and you guys are going to build together. You guys are the emperor and the empress. Okay, I guess those two wanted to come out. All right, what do we have? Queen, Divine Feminine. Ha, look at the Empress right there. And Path of Least Resistance. Choose Ease and Grace. And Twin Flames. Everything is possible. Oh my gosh. You know, it may be that um, the feminine energy in this relationship, like whichever one of you is divine feminine or just far more in tune with your feminine energy, like I feel that's the one that um, has the status here. So, um, you know, this could be you, Libra, or this could represent the object of your affection. Okay, but the Empress and the Queen came out twice, so I know the feminine energy in this connection, or if it's a feminine feminine, one of you is very, very well off, okay? Um, and that the Queen, it goes back to that status and that power, okay? Somebody has made a lot of success for themselves in this life, a lot of uh, accomplishment in their career path. They're comfortable. They're set. They just want love. Like, they want true, real love. It's like, this person has everything. They can buy themselves anything they want. They're not looking to partner up with somebody um, for assets and resources. They're looking to partner up out of love and building and growing together. Even though this person has the success, they're very down to earth. 
and they see you. They see you as down to earth and they feel the connection from you to them, okay? And so with you, there's a sense of safety. Like they know that you see them not for their status, but for their heart, for their soul. And twin flames. Oh my gosh, Libra, this is the most beautiful message of all of them. Something is what it is only because of what it is not. The ex is not the soulmate. This person is the soulmate, all right? And again, this person, it could have been them that had to let some of the past go. Either way, Libra, this is your year to align to true soulmate love. There's some beautiful vacation going on. You're gonna be happy. You are not gonna be a single Libra um, ending 2023, moving into 2024. You're building your empire with this twin flame. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hi to all my Libras. Thank you so much for sticking around for your bonus message. Let's go ahead and see what's coming in for all you single Libras in 2023. Expectations. Explore. All right, Libra, I'm already getting some messages. You have some unrealistic um, expectations and I can already see that um, coming through. And I think that you um, need to realize that like sometimes your expectations or what you um, expect or want out of somebody or you know, um, maybe you are, like have a checklist, right Libra? And you're like, they need to meet this, 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 that and the other before. We also have the one and then we have true love coming out and karmic ties um so there's a lot about this person okay this person i feel like it's going to come into your life and you're going to like them but you're kind of standoffish because you're like they don't meet every box or they don't check everything they could have like one thing where you're just like Ugh, i just i don't know like it, it's i think that it's time to explore something new right your checklist or your thing hasn't gotten you um into a relationship or um, if anything your checklist hasn't led you to the correct relationship right and that's why we're in the position that we're in I kind of feel um, and so it's like we're it's time to explore something new is like what I feel there's like something new that it's time to explore and it's time to go through that healing and um, like it's you want to grow in this relationship and you can't like go into a relationship and expecting this person to absolutely be perfect and nothing be wrong with them and expect like that they do 10,000 things or more or it's like a done deal right um I think it's like you need to be more real with yourself what do you truly want what are the core values what do you truly desire right and that's I think where you need to to land a little bit more because this person that's going to come into your life in 2023 I can see that they're going to be like you know it's gonna be great I think that you guys are gonna have like obviously a relationship I think that there's chemistry there I think that there's like this this um like I feel like energy or vibe between the two of you but it's up to you to decide if you're gonna go in for it and I think that that's more on you I don't think that has anything to do with them it's your expectations are so high and if they don't check your box are you willing to go with that and we also have an intervention coming out Okay, so it's like, are you willing to change yourself to move into this relationship, karmic ties coming out, where you guys could have been um, together in a past life, and it's like you guys um, have this unfinished love that needs to continue, and that's why you feel so strongly, but are you willing to put some things aside to, to complete this or to have that fulfillment? I mean, that's all on you. Getting to know each other, attraction, yeah, I was definitely feeling, um, for you, I think, Libra, this person might be a little not as financially stable or maybe not as financially put together as you, okay, Libra? But it doesn't make them any less. And I think that if you had this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them, 
um, and you got to know like truly where they want to go because we have getting to know each other and heart to heart. I think if you um, had this conversation and you were like, well, what's your ultimate goal? Like, where do you want to go? Why don't you do this? Why don't, why isn't that um, kind of a thing? And you kind of seen a plan that they had for themselves. I think that that, that would over ride anything else because you are very attracted to them there's a lot of passion in this relationship and if it's because one check box like one box isn't checked and that could be where maybe they just don't have like a full career for themselves or maybe their finances are a little tied right now but you never know the reason and so for you i think libra it's more about opening that door to something new or um, being willing to hear like what their plan is to get to somewhere new right like what's What's their over, overall plan? If we end up um, dating, like, are you gonna be able to, to be successful? Like, I don't wanna have to take care of you financially. Like, whatever that is for you, I don't think you should be mean about it, but I think that you should really have a, a conversation because there's a lot of love and, um, like, you know, soulmate energy, and it's like, you, it, you might push that away. Yeah, don't let other people um, get inside your head. Um, and I feel like, too, you're somebody, oh, okay, so we have temporary reconnection coming out. All right, all right, okay. So I have a couple different things to say here for you, um, and I'm going to try to make it fast because I know it's supposed to be a little quick bonus message. Okay, for you, Libra, you have this picture, okay, of, of what you want. You see these 50 different pictures put together to try to create one person, you have this like inspiration or this idea of what you want. And so this person hides behind a mask and it doesn't allow you guys to fully get into this like deep connection because they know that you have this image of something that you want and they can never fulfill that. And to them, that's not fair, right Libra? So you need to really, um, you need to have this conversation with them so they don't think of you differently and they don't have this mask because you want to know their true soul and it's like you're attracted there's lots of love there's a lot of like um sexual energy there's a lot of this that and the other but it's like you need to get to know their heart because you really do like them and it's like when you figure out their full-on plan it's okay like you you don't have this 9,000 pictures to try to put up this one person or these 950 like 950 ideas to create an, a person you you just have this idea to grow with your person okay so i hope all libras enjoyed their message